Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be showing you the latest keto food trend that is blowing up Instagram. So the latest trend right now is the popple and the chopple. It is a take on a waffle. All you need is three ingredients, eggs, cheese, and pork rinds to make both of these. So let's get started. So we are going to get started on the chaffle first. Super simple. This is one egg that I beat up. You're going to want a half a cup of cheese. You can do more if you want. And we're going to mix this together. You can season it with salt and pepper if you like. Then you're going to turn on your waffle iron. Everybody on Instagram uses the mini waffle iron. I have a regular waffle iron, so I didn't go out and buy a mini one. So I am going to use the regular sized one. So this will probably give you two mini waffles. Um, so you can make like sandwiches, use them as burger buns. I'm just going to make a big one and I'm just going to cut it in half and just make like a half sandwich. So a trick to keeping this crunchy is you want to add a little bit of cheese. I'm just using the Costco on the bottom of the waffle iron. This is going to give it a nice crust when it cooks. Now we're going to pour our egg mixture in. Spread it out. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit more cheese. And we're going to close it. We're going to let that cook for a couple minutes. It's only been roughly maybe one or two minutes. So I'm going to open it just to check it. I want it a little bit more brown than that. Okay, the waffle is done, the chaffle. And I'm going to get it out of the waffle maker. Look at how delicious that looks. So we are going to let this cool and we're going to go ahead and start on the poffle. Okay, for the poffle, what you want is one egg. We're going to beat this. We're going to add one third of a cup of mozzarella cheese. You could probably use any cheese that you want. And a half a cup of pork rind crumbs. I just grabbed pork rinds from my cabinet and I just beat them in a bag until I made crumbs. We're going to stir this up. Again, if you have a mini waffle maker, just cut this in half and do two different um, portions. Okay, now we're going to stick it in a waffle iron. I'm not going to spray it with avocado spray just because it has enough grease from the last one with the cheese. So we're just going to pour this in here. Spread it out. And close the lid. Okay, we are going to check on our poffle. This one takes a couple more minutes to get toasted. So you can take it out whenever you feel like you're ready to. And I'm gonna take this out now. It looks pretty toasty. That is the poffle. Doesn't that look amazing? Look at all that crunchiness. So this is the chaffle. Can you hear the crunch? That's what you're looking for. This makes delicious sandwiches. You could just eat it like this with bacon. My younger son loves this. And then here is the, the poffle. You can hear the crunch of the pork rinds. Looks delicious. This makes really good sandwiches as well. I've seen people do both of these savory. Um, you can make like tacos out of this too. Just fold it up, make yourself a taco. Um, different, different things you could do with this. Be creative guys. All right, you guys, I don't know where the chaffle originated from. This is just the recipe I found on Instagram, so I went with it. I loved it. It is delicious. The poffle originated from her. I'll leave her right here, her name right here, and I'll leave her link down below for you guys. Go follow her. She has tons of awesome recipes, but this is the one that I found and I loved. So that's it, you guys. Those are the two biggest trends right now, blowing up Instagram for keto food eaters. Um, go give them a try. Don't forget to hashtag Popples and Chopples when you guys make them and post your pictures of all this deliciousness right here. And don't forget to tag me so I can see your guys' creations. If you guys aren't already, go follow me on Instagram. I will leave that link down below for you guys. 
please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.